All right, well, we're back here at Sycamore High School. Bo Brown will be running the camera for us coming up here. 38-32 in favor of the Norsemen. Cam Meyer with 11 points. Evan Schomer with 9. Willie with 7. Big Jack with 5. Schmitty with 4. Stephen McGrath with 2. Uh, the stories of the game right now are Willie has 3 fouls. Uh, but the big story is Big Jack. Big Jack went down with an ankle sprain. The official word from the team is that it's an ankle sprain. He's out for the game. They believe it's not serious. Uh, they've got it iced immediately. He's staying off it. In fact, he actually walked out on his own. They've removed his sock and shoe even. And he walked out on his own. The coaches uh, were concerned, but not that concerned. So that's good, at least. Um, but we're, uh, we're about ready here to start second-half action. Possession arrow is in favor of the Norsemen. And uh, they'll be, let's see who they have coming out. Looks like Willie, Cam, Schmitty. Stevie McGrath, and Evan Schomer. All right, we have uh, we have Newark Norseman star. Kyle Anderson making his way to the so he can uh, talk with us as well. And we start the third quarter, second half. Norsemen are up six. And here we go, Stevie McGrath. Miss a two-point shot. Drives in, 15. Willie does not want to get his fourth foul. He gets the defensive rebound. Well, definitely got to play smart. Can't afford that fourth. Can't, can't afford the fourth. That's Kyle Anderson who's with us right now. Stevie for three, no good. Off the back iron. Rebound, Will. Cameron with a nice, easy two-point play. There's another three-pointer. They just come right back and fire away threes. Newark's had some great first, first drive, first drive defense. Second drive, the help just hasn't been. They're helping the helper. They got to do a better job of that. Cameron's got it. Looks like a 30-second timeout by the Norsemen. Smart timeout, smart timeout. Just to make sure things are uh, taken care of here. Well, Kyle, what do we think uh, thus far, how, how everything's going um, as far as how they're moving the ball, uh, what you've been seeing, uh, with with this Newark team, you've seen them a couple times already this year. Uh, what do you, what do you think it so far? Obviously, with Jack out, I mean we're all hoping he's okay, but this is a chance Will really has to step up. He already has to take control of the team majority of the time with his older brother out. More than ever now, these guys are gonna really depend on him, and I think he needs to really do a good job, not just shooting the ball, but really get some guys some good easy open shots, get some confidence, and then I'm sure that'll get their defense going. You bet, you bet. I like this right here. Good post up. Yeah, I like, I like Willie. I mean, he can play all the positions. Here's Evan for three. Off the front iron. No good. He can hit that three, definitely. Oh, he's a good shooter. I'd still prefer to see him a little, little more on the offense attacking. 40 to 35 in favor of the Norsemen. Schmidt with another defensive rebound, by the way. Here's Stevie driving on the baseline. We want that three shot. Bang! Kmeyer with another three. Nice pass by Stevie McGrath. There you go. 
Steal by Evan. Out to, out to Cameron. Cameron for two. No good. Rush that one. Need to take a yeah, he rushed that one, but nice. Not, I like the idea. Great idea. Great defense. Great steal. Good push. Another three point by 15. No good. Rebound. Willie. Here goes Willie driving down. He likes that pull up 15 footer. Bang. And it looks like a timeout that by was, Rochelle. Let the defense lead to the offense, get easy baskets and transition. That's what I like to see. Cam Meyer, he might be the best shooter I've seen Newark have in a long while. I mean, you know, I mentioned earlier uh, on, on, uh, on this show that Cameron is very similar right now in this situation how you were in college just last year. If you got any daylight, you fire away. He's got – I see a lot of kids in college with a quick release. I don't see many high school, especially one in high school, with as quick a release as he has. And I think that will translate well to the next level if he does to try to play with that quick shot. That yeah, he and he's only a junior. Only a junior. And he, and he just finally got into his 6'5 yep. frame to understand what that looks like from he's that type of shot. Now, training and he should be a real good player. Yeah. Skip pass by the Hubs and out of bounds, steps out of bounds. Defense has actually looked really good by the Norsemen all day. I like what they've done. It has been really good, really good. 45-35 in favor of the Norsemen, 10-point lead. This is their largest lead that I have marked down with 520 remaining in the third quarter. All with Jack on the bench. Remember, Jack is out for the game due to the ankle. Nice little screen play. Cameron, he, he was thinking three-point shot. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have minded. Willie, oh, he loves that play. The old step around, good no good. I like that shot. Yeah, that's good a good shot, shot for Willie. He, he poured in 30 points in the sectional championship by doing just that. Underneath, 30, has it right off Willie's leg. Nothing happening, out to the wing. He'll fire three. Bang. Will's another player. For a high schooler, the pace that he plays at, there's not many high schoolers that can play that way. A lot of kids try to go fast, fast. I love the way he plays. Yep. 45-38 in favor of the Norseman. Stevie drives, gets the blocking foul. He is a ninja at getting these fouls and the opportunity to shoot two free throws. We'll see if it's on the floor. He's they call it, really? He's slimy. That's a great word for it. I'm not sure. They, that's twice. I thought that he had the shot attempt, and they waved it off and just said it was on the floor. That's definitely a call miss. Hope we can't get Willie with a nice post. Great feed by Stevie. That's a nice play. I like that play. Here come the hubs right away for three. That kills you. 47-41. Sorry. Got to stop that dribble presentation. That's all it is. Got to yep. stay in front of your man. One-on-one -on -one situation. Stevie's got it. He loves that step around. That's beautiful play. That definitely works here at Sycamore Tournament. Step through, Schmidt with a little contact, but he's shorter than that 6'5 guy. Another three-point attempt, and no good. Long rebound by Evan. Out to Cameron. Cameron, I thought he was going to dunk it. <laughs> if you saw him pregame, Cameron had several dunks. Did you catch that at pregame? I did. I saw it. Was yeah, we showed that to our fans. A little travel, a little shuffle. Willie gets the blocking foul. He showed his hands, but he walked into him. Yeah, Refs like calling that, and that's four. Close call, close call, either way. Just got to be a little smarter in that situation. I understand it's a close call, but Will being leader of this team, his big brother out, he's got to be a little smarter. Yeah, and he can't take any chances at this point. Just give the two up. Just let him have it. Right. A two's better than nothing. Again, a 10-point lead, 51-41, 3.38 remaining. Coach Tollison asking for a little clarification. Maybe they're talking about what they did for Black Friday. First free throws up and good. Surprising coach is leaving. Willie in the game. Looks like he's asking Kendall to go in. Yep. Second shot. Up. And good. And we'll get a substitution. I'm guessing Willie's going to have a seat. Stevie will bring the ball up now. 51-43 in favor of the Norseman. 3.35 remaining. Stevie's got it. He can handle it. This is when I'd really like to see Steve step up. Any other team, he might be their best player. He just happens to play on a loaded team. So it's a good opportunity. Nice pass. Great pass. 
Good finish by, by F, but all set up by Stevie's pass. Blocking foul. Ref wasn't sure what he's going to call, I don't think. Just not, not seeing their men in transition. That's just, I'm sure that's killing Coach T right now, seeing that. You got to locate, as soon as that rebound happens, locate your man. And someone Oop. out there, don't know who it was, didn't locate. Looks like we have an official timeout as we got a potential injury. Scoreboard is 53-43 in favor of the Norseman. 317 remaining. Our foul situation is uh, we've got <laughs> Willie with four fouls, and that's our big situation there. Jack is already out. 15 stands up for, uh, for the Hubs. Looks like he's going to be okay. He walked out on his own strength, and we'll resume play. Yeah, it would be nice to see uh, Stephen McGrath really step up right now as the floor leader. It's a great opportunity for him. Hasn't really played well offensively his first two games. We all know he can, so it's a great chance for him to step up. First free throw's up and almost an air ball. Substitution for the Hubs. I've been impressed with number 30 from Rochelle. Yeah, he, player, he is a good player. Got some height. Yeah, he's a 6'2 junior. I'm surprised they're not going to him more with Jack out as well. Strike that. He's a 6'7 junior. I knew that. Yeah. I talked about that just a minute ago. Here goes Stevie. Did he miss that second one? Yes. I wasn't even watching. I was looking at the height. Stevie's got it one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, had Cameron wide open, but he couldn't get it to him. Defender got in his way. Over to Stevie. Stevie's got it. Newark cannot be in a hurry here. It's 2.50 remaining in the third quarter. We don't need to force anything. If Cameron gets an open shot, he'll take it. Just off the iron. I like the attempt, though. So if someone's got to locate. We got a wide open shooter. That was a late call. I agree with the call, definitely but it was a late call. call. Definitely late. Again, they're just not locating. We had two guys standing with the same, same offensive player, and I mean, that's going to eat Coach T up right now, seeing that. Yeah, he, he doesn't get too happy about uh, <laughs> people missing their positions on defense. I mean, that's what you set up the whole defense for. Defense is a staple for Newark, so when they get easy chances, can't be liking that. First shot. Get set up, is up. It's hard for them to score as we've seen this game. Hubs looking to check somebody in. They do this frequently. Check someone in on a free throw. Second shot is up and good, and they'll get the sub in. 53-45 in favor of the Norseman. 236 remaining. Three fouls to one foul. Norseman have the three fouls. Lots of game left. 10 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the game. 2.30 left in this third quarter. Stevie's got it. Closely Steve. guarded. Yep. Over to Cameron. Cameron looking down to Kendall. Kendall's got a post feed, but he just missed it. A little too late. Over to Cameron. Cameron over to Schmidt. Schmidt looking, calling a play. Coach Tollison yelling out a new play. Cameron's got it. Looks. Skips over to Stevie. Stevie looking in for Evan. Schmidt clears out. He's got a post, but great help defense by number 30. Kendall's got it. He drives. Way to not charge. Skip pass over to Stevie. Stevie for three. No good. Really good possession overall. Didn't come out with the result, but really impressed with their patience, the way they moved the ball, got a good shot. Yep. Three-point attempt again for 21. He's been on fire. Oh, it just nicked on something, and Evan jumped up. Tough break, tough break. And, and lost the timing on it. Here come the Norseman. schmidt has got it. He's fully guarded. Hand checking going on. No call. schmidt got it. Flips it up over to Kendall. Kendall skip over to Stevie. Stevie on top. Over to Cameron. Cameron looking for the shot. Nice floater. Nice Bang. If he can start adding that to the game with the way he can shoot, it's going to be tough. Nearly, to nearly un good. unstoppable at that point if he can do it with the dribble. Another three-point attempt for 21. He'll hit that. He has no problem shooting that shot. He's looked good tonight as well. Really starting to show Five-point lead. Evan takes the ball out to Stevie. More pressure showing. A little trapping pressure. Stevie's got it, and that's bumped. You can't do that. 
Every single time the ref will call that a foul. Absolutely. That's a great job by Steve. I'm interested to see. I figured Rochelle would put the press on as soon as Will came out, knowing he's the primary ball handler, but Steve so far has looked really good handling the press. Cameron now has 20 points. He only has one foul. Norsemen are up 55-50, one minute remaining in the third quarter. Skip pass into Schmidt. Back over to Stevie. Usually uh, Cameron or someone else is taking that ball out, not, uh, not Stevie. Over to Schmidt. Schmidt looking. Closely guarded. That's a hand check. Three fouls to three fouls. They've evened it up. 47.5 remaining. Five-point lead for the Norsemen. Ball taken out on the side right, right in front of their bench. Caleb Dearson sharing some ideas. Evan with a nice post feed. Gets it blocked. Oh, and they call a foul on the second one. Great look for Newark there. Yeah. I'm guessing it might have been designed too by Coach. I really like that. Evan one on one in the post. Good first block, good rebound for Evan. Go straight back up into the contact. Evan shooting two. He's been shooting pretty well from the free throw line. First one's up and good. Norseman have the lead, 56-50. 44.5 remaining in the third quarter. Evan now has 11 points for the game. Second free throw up and good. Made them both. Little token pressure. I like this. Evan nearly lost the stepping. Stevie with great defense, showing his hands. A little switch. I like the switch happening. And then they didn't switch. Cameron stayed on him, 30 seconds. 21 has it. They don't want, he must not be giving him any daylight for the three-point reasons. Cameron's got a 6-5 frame. Do not want him, 21 to shoot a three. Nice drive by the Hubs to get the two-pointer. 14 seconds remaining, and here comes Stevie. Stevie likes these last-second plays. 57-52 in favor of the Norseman. Stevie's got it. He's got one-on-one. -on -one. Nice little crossover. Floater. Bang. No shot attempt on that. Norseman had the lead going into the fourth quarter. 59 52. Great quarter by Steve. There was a chance for Newark really to get rattled when both the Clausel boys went out, and Steve took it over like he typically runs the team himself instead of Will. So, really good, really good quarter by Will. Limit any damage. Now this gives Will a chance to get back in, take control of the game again, and 